my name is Melissa Carroll and today I'd like to talk about prepositions. Are you uncertain as to whether you should say in the bus or on the bus? Do you say in downtown or just downtown with no preposition? These little words hold a lot of meaning and they can be a little bit challenging because you have to memorize them. However, the three that I would like to talk about today have rules that make them easier to remember. You know them as in, on, and at. I hope you enjoy this PowerPoint grammar presentation. Prepositions of time. At plus time, in, and a period of time. On plus days and dates. At plus time. At 2 p.m. At noon. At midnight. Even though they're words, noon and midnight, they're still time. Noon is 12 p.m. in the afternoon, and at midnight, it is 12 a.m. in the middle of the night. In plus a period of time, such as in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. But we say at night. It's an exception. On plus a day. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, etc., and we can say on Saturdays that S represents every Saturday or Saturdays in general. On weeknights, on weekends. The same thing, generally on weeknights you do this and on the weekends you usually do this. But we say on a weeknight and on the weekend. In Canada and the US we say on the weekend but in the UK they say at the weekend and also they would say in the UK at weekends if you want to put an S on it and in Canada and the US on weekends. On plus a date on December 25th that's a date on Christmas Day that's also a date because it's December 25th on New Year's Eve that's also a date because that's December 31st but we say at Christmas because it means at Christmas time, which refers to the season of Christmas. Pop quiz. I get up, blank, six, blank, the morning, blank, weekdays. Yeah, I get up at six in the morning on weekdays. Another pop quiz. I start work, blank, eight, blank, the morning and finish, blank, four, blank the afternoon. Yeah, I start work at 8 in the morning and finish at 4 in the afternoon. Last pop quiz. I go to bed blank midnight blank weeknights and sleep in blank the weekend. Yeah, I go to bed at midnight on weeknights and sleep in on the weekend. Don't be confused when you see two prepositions together like in and on. I sleep in on the weekend. Sleep in is a phrasal verb that goes together. It means to sleep late on a weekend morning, for example. And on is a preposition that goes with the weekend. Discussion time. Take turns asking and answering these questions. What are two things you do before 8 in the morning? How late do you stay up on Friday night? What things do you like to do on Saturday mornings? Prepositions of place. At plus place, on plus street, on plus public transportation, and in plus a city or a country. I live at 162 Douglas Street in Victoria is a very specific address. It's the blue house on the street. You know which one it is. So at tends to be very specific. Let's meet at the corner of Madison Avenue and Fifth Avenue. At the corner of A and B is quite a specific area. So at. At the park. At the doctor's at the bank, at the mall, at plus a place, at the park, at the doctors, at the bank, at the mall, and at the bus stop. The is an article. We use article with places, so at the park. But we don't use articles before home, school, or work. So in the middle column, it's just at home, at school, at work, or at plus the name of a place. 
maybe the name of the place is a restaurant like McDonald's restaurant. So you would say at McDonald's. And then, of course, at UVic, because UVic is the nickname, the name we have for the University of Victoria. So we would say at UVic, but you could also say at the University of Victoria, because that is the name of the place, which in this case includes the. Another example would be at the Bay Center, because it's called the Bay Center. So at plus the name of a place. Over on the right column, we have other examples of at for specific areas of places, like at the front of the class, at the back of the class, at the corner of A and B, which would be a street name, for example, at the top of the page, or at the bottom of the page, on a street, on a bus on a train, on a plane, on a ferry, on a subway, but in a taxi. So we use on plus public transportation, on the bus, on the train, on the plane, on the ferry, on the metro, on the subway, on the SkyTrain, etc. But we use in the car, in the taxi or in the limousine because they are not public transportation, they're private. In a minute, in plus time, in a period of time. So in a minute, back in five minutes, in a week, I will be on vacation in a week. That means in a week's time, I will be on vacation. So next week, I will be on vacation in a week, in a month, in a year, in 2014, in 2015, in a city. A city is a bigger space, so we use in. In a city, in a country, which is an even bigger space. But no preposition before downtown. So in plus a period of time, in a second, in a minute, in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year, or often we say it with the number of the year, so in 2018. But remember, we also use it for a period of time, such as in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, but it's at night. That's the exception. And then on the right-hand column, in plus a space. So in a room, in a building, in a house, in a city, in a province, in a country. Prepositions of place and time, in, on, and at. For example, I was born in Canada, a country, on July 25th, a date, in 2007, a year, at 11.05 p.m., a very specific time. When were you born? Take a minute to complete the following sentence. Don't forget to review the end.